today we do UDP sockets in PHP. Remember from my previous tutorial, for the UDP server we need a socket system call, we need bind and receive from, and for the clients we need only to create a socket and we can send messages using send to. So let's write the server side using your favorite text editor, I use Joe, we call s.php the server. And uh, we need three system calls socket, bind, and receive from. Of course, uh, these system calls may be different from uh, one programming language to another, so we'll use uh, the system calls that are used in PHP. First, we make this a um, PHP script. Uh, if I remember how to do this, PHP, okay, and now we have a PHP script. The socket system we call in for creating socket in PHP is socket create, and it requires precisely three parameters. First, we have to specify that it's an um, uh, internet socket, address family inet. Okay, because we write a uh, UDP socket, uh, this socket will be a datagram socket. And we need some flags, which we usually uh, leave to be zero. That. Okay, this will create a resource, a socket ID, which will uh, uh, call it S. Okay, then we bind this socket ID to an IP. We bind it to the local host. Okay, and we are going to use port 8888. After binding, we can already start receiving data from our clients. So we receive from socket ID S. Uh, we need uh, some parameters. First, uh, we're going to need a buffer to receive the message. And we call it buff. Okay. We need the maximum length uh, of the receiving uh, buffer. Let's put it just 100. It doesn't matter. We need some flags. We'll uh, leave those flags to be zero. And uh, this uh, system call receive from is going to uh, give me the remote IP of the client and the remote uh, port of the client. But in uh, a PHP receive from system call looks like this socket receive from from and bind system call is um, the same socket bind and this is the server side let's run it PHP s dot PHP no errors and we write the client side for the client we can just copy the server into that client and we do some minor adjustments. Socket creation remains the same. We don't need to bind the socket in the client so we can delete this line and instead of receiving from we use send to. Send we are going to send over uh, file descriptor S. Uh, we are going to send a message hello, which is precisely uh, 5 bytes. Flags are 0, and the remote IP is uh, localhost. And the remote port. I think I did a mistake. Check the server again. The remote port was 8888. And this should be all for the client. Let's check the server again. Not a remote IP here, it's a remote port. Okay, let's start the server again. And we can start the client now. HP and we can see that everything was okay, but I didn't print out the uh, message that I received. So in the server, we'll do echo 
um, receive. the message that I receive, which is inside the buffer from and we'll put here the remote IP which will, is going to be a local host obviously in this case and uh, the remote port the port that the client was uh, using uh, in order to send the message and the port Okay, so let's start the server again and the client. As we can see, we received hello from localhost and from this port. Our client used this uh, assigned port from the operating system. Okay, let's make this um, bidirectional. So the server will send the message back to the client. First we open the client, we copy this line, which we are going to use inside the server. So after the server will receive our hello from the client, the server will send a message back to the client. Okay. So instead of sending hello, we'll say hi, which is precisely two bytes. We'll send to the remote IP that we got from the receive from system call and the remote port that we received from the same system call. Now, on the client side, first we copy the receive from from the server. We we'll use this into the client. After the client sent the message hello, the client will uh, be able to receive message in a buffer called the same, maximum length 100, uh, flex are zero and it will receive the remote IP and remote port and we can copy the echo line as well and this should work by direction let's reset the client clear the screens we should start the server we we'll start the client and as you can see, the server received hello from the um, client. The client used this port for sending the message. And it sent a message back to the client on this port. And the client received our message, which was hi, from the server from port 8888. And this is a very simple way to write UDP sockets in PHP. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.